may you be exalted may you o elohim be praised now and forevermore we pray he said he said he said that is what is leading us on our quest for our freedom and we're going to get that freedom whether they like it or they don't like it this morning what i'm going to do right now as we speak i'm going to run through uh yesterday's interactive session with our leader mazin namdikano to a point where we can go into our regular conversation for those of us who did not because of based on the time 7 a.m it was in biafra land time and that could have been <laughs> time for us to be snoring most of us and uh, so most of us in the United States were not privileged to listen to it, please. We are going to run this program to a point where we'll be able to have enough time left for us to talk about issues that concerns us. Stay tuned. Don't go away. These are our leaders broadcast of uh, uh, yesterday, the third day of uh, May 2021, 7 a.m. Land time. It's a repeat program, so don't mind, don't mind the time and whatever I say. Whenever I say it's live, I'm repeating a program that I did yesterday. Well, we are welcoming you to our live presentation this very morning, our question and answer session this very day. But first of all, before I proceed, I must profusely and profoundly apologize for our late coming this morning. We're about six minutes later, thereabout. I was undergoing some some um, medical examination so that was why the the doctor was a bit late i was um, struggling and trying to get him to finish on time but now they are done 
So I must apologize. I hate doing anything late. I, I am a very um, good timekeeper, I should say. And I do not like people who do not take their timing very seriously. So I do apologize. And I believe that you have forgiven me for being six minutes late this morning. I do profoundly and, should I say, um, deeply apologize for coming late this morning. But we are here, we are live, and we are direct. And as always, heaven is bearing us witness. I understand that all our platforms are go. All our platforms are working. There is no problem. We are on Instagram, please, for those of you who do not know at Mazen Namdekan official, please, on Instagram, try to share that very link as much as possible, especially for those of you who happen to be on Facebook, because I do believe that when this very program hots up, the forces of evil and of darkness will try to interrupt our transmission on that very platform. Therefore, I am asking you, please, to be prepared to switch to either Twitter, to IPOB Community Radio, to Instagram, to Radio Biafra app, to tune in anyhow you wish to listen to us, even on YouTube. We are on YouTube, on University of Radio Biafra. You should be able to participate this very morning. I am warning those of you who are listening to me via my official Facebook page, the fan page itself. In fact, we are also on my own personal page on Facebook. Not a lot of you know this, but that very page is authentic. It is genuine. It is mine. How you know is if you go there now, we are streaming on that very platform. I welcome each and every one of you. And this very morning is the last morning I will take calls from those of you who are not on Twitter. Anytime we'll have question and answer session again, or we have an interactive session, if you do not have a Twitter account, I will not take your call. If you do not have a Twitter account, you will not speak on Radio Biafra, please. Very, very critical. You understand that you expect everybody to be on Twitter. Even if you're not doing anything, just follow us on Twitter and simply retweet. If you don't know what to do, everybody must be on Twitter. Everybody must be on Twitter, please. Very, very important this morning. And I am going to pray as soon as I finish praying. Of course, we shall proceed to open the lines for, for us to begin to take your calls. But as I said, today is the last day of grace. When you call next time, you must be on Twitter. And you're not going to lie to me, please. Everybody must be on Twitter. I don't care if you have two, three, four, five, six accounts on Twitter. If the more, the merrier. Go to Twitter and open a Twitter account. Is an order from me, please. Very, very important. Because the forces of darkness and of iniquity on Facebook that are trying to stifle what we are doing. We must continue our relentless march towards freedom. Please, I welcome all of you and also welcome those of them who are around you. There are some people who are still sleeping. There are some people who, for one reason or the other, may not be able to reach their listening device this morning. Endeavor to inform them that we are live and that we are direct and this very morning. And as always, the truth and the gospel of redemption will be preached on this noble platform. This glorious platform, this Radio Biafra. Let us pray very, very briefly. And I will, of course, pray, as always, the Lord's Prayer. A very simple prayer. And after praying, then I will address the nonsensical, idiotic, and hopeless propaganda by DSS. A bunch of liars, as Lugard quite rightly said, that the Fulani people are liars. You cannot trust them. That's what Lugard said, the creator of the zoo. And this morning, we shall put to bed their lies against me and this very noble family regarding the state of worship in the land of Biafra come the 30th of May. Our Lord and our God who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forevermore, we pray. He said, he said, he said, that is the prayer that Yahweh Heshua prayed when the disciples asked him and said to him, Rabbi, teach us how to pray. 
because we are all the children of God Almighty in heaven. That is why we must pray to God now and always. And this very morning, I am going to give you a series of phone numbers to call, of course. Some of you may be able to get to us via signal. Some of you may also be able to get to us via WhatsApp if you wish to do so. Because I made an investigation, we can at least, for purposes, for the purposes of this very presentation this morning, we are willing to take your calls via WhatsApp as well. But in terms of intra-communication, our Android is almost ready. It's ready, and we are waiting for our iOS, which is an Apple then to now launch our app that is very safe and very secure, and we can begin to switch over to that very platform. So it is very imminent, and we are working very hard to make sure that we do that. But before I open our lines this morning, first of all, I want to address a cheap local Tombo bar. You know Tombo? You know, we have bar, we have wine bar, and we have Tombo bar. There is a, a kind of um, gossip going around. Tombo gossip. You know the one you have in the village bar where they eat uh, uh, oil bean seed or what? With Hongkobi, you know, you know, tombo. you know, when you go to wine bar, you drink wine, you drink um, um, cocktails, you're, you're well dressed and all the rest of it. When you go to Tombo, you can be coming from 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 maybe harvesting angara in the farm. You come in and you branch into Tombo bar. You want to drink um, a bottle of fine wine with Hongkobi. You know the type of gossip you hear there is different from the one you hear in um, high-end exclusive wine bars. You know that very well. DSS has descended to, to what I call uh, uh, village uh, uh, tumble, uh, gossip. I woke up this morning to some ridiculousness. I think there's no peddling it from yesterday. That somehow there are not going to be any church services on the 30th. If we don't go to church, if we don't go to the temples and the synagogue to pray for the safe repose of the souls of those that have died, where are we supposed to do it? We are going, every church that very day in Biafra land on the 30th is going to pray for the souls of our dear departed, including the very gallant Ikonso. You don't understand that? That's what's going to happen. Nobody's going to ban any church services. Nobody has the right to. Because you cannot, nobody can interfere with the faith and worship of people. Do you understand it? That is number one. And number two, I also read this morning, of course, it's DSS. Uh, because I came out to defend them back, they have to look for a way to try and strike back. You know the way they behave? As, as, as idiotic as they are, you know how they behave? They say that uh, when the affair comes, every Catholic church, every Anglican church will be converted to a synagogue or a Judaic temple. These people are fools. They are so useless. I have said it time and time again on this platform and in every other place where I have been interrogated on this issue of religion. And allow me to clarify this this morning and with which I think that some of you that actually know me will understand that I cannot say such a thing to start with. That is the Fulani in their desperation to bring their age-long divide and rule. No, that's what they do best. To say, we can, can we put enmity between them? Let us try and lie. They button down the camera to see if they will hate him and stop following him. The same thing they did to the people so-called South, 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 South. The same thing to do to those of them who foolishly refer to themselves as Niger Delta. The same thing they tried to do between Anambra and Dimo when the East was there. The same division they brought between Ikwere, that is Igbo, and the Igbo land itself. The same thing they tried to do with the likes of the Great Harlot herself in Abuja, Loreto, Nochie, and Neoma, and also Igbo land. The same thing they tried to do with us and the Igbo people who are in Cross River State. The same thing they try to do between us and the Igbo people who are in Akwaibon. The same thing they try to do between us and the Igbo people who are in Togi State. They have come again now with church. Because they know that some of us are very foolish and very stupid. When it comes to religion, all our senses, all our thinking faculty goes to the dustbin. 
allow me to reiterate very categorically and unequivocally this very morning that in the land of Biafra, if you want to worship one area of Kukum, a chick, you know, a Kukum, okay, uh, picking of um, chicken, let me put it that way, you are free to do so. You can worship because nobody can interfere with your mood or who you worship. That is why in the, in the greatest religion of all time, which is Biafran religion, a modern interpretation of which is Judaism, they do not do preaching. They don't go on evangelism because it is between you and your God. Anything your conscience tells you, no, I'm more everybody is what you're going to do. And nobody can interfere. That is why in our land, in times gone by, in various communities or villages, depending on their, should I say, on their, on their disposition, they choose to worship whatever deity they want. It's not your business. Have you ever heard in times gone by that people from Ibek can maybe go to go to a place like uh, like Isle um, and tell them that Agra you know the um, chocolate is the the local deity that they shouldn't worship it anymore. Have you heard of that before? Because nobody can interfere or come between you and your God. That is why every great religion, in fact, the greatest religion you have is Biafran religion. You don't go about trying to convert people. No, you don't. It is between that person and his God. That is why anything you want to worship now, until Biafra comes and beyond, you are free to do so. Nobody is going to interfere with church services. Never, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Nobody can even stop you from going to native doctor. If you, that is what you want to do, that is entirely your business. Nobody can. So we must put to bed all this stupid, wishy-washy, idiotic propaganda by DSS of the zoo. That's all they specialize in. Bandits are ravaging their villages, making their life a misery. All they can do is to sit down somewhere and gossip about something they know nothing about. There will be church services on the 30th. People that want to go to church, they are free to do so. If they want, but every church must pray to Elohim in heaven for the safe repose of the souls of those that died in the Holocaust that was the Biafran War and ever since up until this very day. Now our lines are effectively open and we are going to take your calls. For those of you who do not know, I have over 26,000 missed calls. Unbelievable. 26,000. 26,000. Can you believe that? 26,000 missed calls. Can you believe that? On signal alone. Let me give you the number this morning with which you can and must be able to reach us. If it will open, I know that some of you have it already. This plus four four is a UK number. Plus four four seven seven six one eight two five three four six. I repeat. Plus four four seven seven six one eight two five three four six. That is our signal. That is the signal line. I am now going to give you the line for WhatsApp as well. The WhatsApp line, what you will see there is Radio Biafra University. The WhatsApp line is plus one three four six three. Nine nine zero one eight eight. Let us take this very call this morning. This first caller this very day, give us your name and where you're calling us from. We are live and we are direct. Even heaven and the angels are listening. Good morning, sir. You're in my I'm Evangelist Susan Kumoki, calling from Obia oh, Fran. Thank you very much, Evangelist, for calling. I'm continue to strengthen you. You see? You see? Please, uh, what I want to find out from you this morning is that uh, I was told that you suspended all prayer programs on radio, including the Passover. I've been trying to find out because I know that you said what you are doing is 90 something percent spiritual. Yeah. So the normal prayer we pass, the IPOB pastors organized on radio. They said you suspended it. 
I cannot suspend prayer because I pray before I start this program anytime I'm on air. I pray for all of you seven times every blessed day. I pray four times in the morning. I say four prayers in the morning and I say three prayers in the evening on your head and the head of every IPOB family member and every Biafran and every lover of freedom. I even pray for Ududuwa Nation to come. I pray for Middle Belt Nation to come. I cannot, will not stop prayers. Please go back on air and continue to pray. Because right now we have people who are dedicatedly praying for the restoration of Biafra because something people do not understand is for a nation to move forward. There must be those praying for that very nation 24 hours every blessed day. We have those who are holy praying for us every blessed day. Their job is to pray. They are everywhere. They are in synagogues. They are in temples. They are in churches. They are praying every blessed day. I can assure you. The same way it is even in Rome. When you go to Rome, don't you have convent? Don't you have monasteries, people praying? If you go to England, the same thing. If you go to Germany, the same thing. If you go to Russia, the same thing. If you go to the US, the same thing. If you go to Canada, the same. Even in, in Japan, Shinto monks are praying for their nation. So prayer is very, very important and we must continue to do so. Thank you very, very much. Return back on air and continue to pray. I have another caller on the line. This caller, give us your name and where you're calling us from. This is Radio Biafra. Can you hear me? No, they are not paying attention. The caller on the line, please, can you hear me? I can hear you. Positive. Please give us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, sir. Um, my name is Jim Dicker, one year from Texas. From Texas, please go ahead. Thank you, Master. Um, I, I was actually reading uh, through a write up about the Fulani agenda, which is something that you have always talked about. But, Mazi, I wanted to talk about two things. First of all, the assemblage of the native doctors by the Ebony State Governor, Umahi. Um, if, if uh, I know, I mean, that's a topic that should not really be discussed on Radio Biafra, but I just want to speak out to any one of them or anybody that has their information to make sure they get as much money as they can from that man and they put and pay it into yes an account because we need all that money from the government, the ones that Omahe has stolen and stashed out away. And um, <laughs> on Mbaka, uh, our father, Reverend Father Mbaka, um, now that, you know, we are supporting him as we should, as our own that he is, he should as well speak up more on, on the issue of the Biafran people and he should be in defense of IPOB. And if possible, he should encourage his members, he should open a unit there at the Adoration Ground because we are all indigenous people of Biafra and that is something that he has to do. Then Amazia, um, um, the other one is um, the Arabic school in a bunch state. Um, the information that I got is that these hoodlums, these are these terrorists go over there to hide, and from there they, are, they launch their attacks. So the uh, unknown government should uh, pay them a visit. I know it's not our, it's not ours to discuss, but everybody that knows what to do should go and do what they need to do over there. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you very very much. And regarding the issue of Umbaka and preaching of the gospel and for him to set up a family unit. There is something that we must try to understand. Did you hear when Umbaka was talking about Biafra and myself, the way the crowd responded? Go and watch the entire clip. He said many things and the crowd responded. When he mentioned my name, Go and observe how the crowd reacted. Everybody there is a Biafran. Even Mbaka himself is also a Biafran. Sometimes it is a case of misunderstanding or people not being able to appreciate the enormity of this very project that Elohim has mandated us to execute here on this very earth. Sometimes our people do not understand. The same thing with the governors. Because of the penny penny half half the peanuts they are picking up from the table, because they want to appear relevant, they do not see the potency of what we are preaching. They don't understand the liberation that will come via this very noble family of IPOB. Or sometimes they know, they choose to ignore it. That's entirely their business. And regarding the other things that you mentioned, of course, I don't know who the non-government are, but I do know that wherever they see injustice, 
they will tackle it in our land. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me, please? Yes, please give us your name and where you are calling us from, please, if you may. Yes, calling from Indonesia. From Indonesia. Your name is what? Yes, sir. Okay, Mary. Oh, Martin. Okay, Mary. Please go ahead. We are listening. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. So I want to thank you for all your effort that we're doing towards our living. Because your fight is for our living. I so much appreciate your effort. And I so much appreciate the love you have for the Bia friends. Uh, what I want to point out on is uh, based on the issue of uh, misunderstanding differences of differences of uh, Bia friends and the and other uh, IPOB and the broader Biafra groups. I want to emphasize on that by saying, how can we collaborate with them to work together? Because the case now is that if any other issue that comes up now, the way the agitation is going on, one may fight each other. The way I'm saying things, please, how can we collaborate with each other to make sure that everybody carry along? Like I said, Dr. Ball was the concerns of them. Please, how can we collaborate and make sure that everything works together? Because we're in a battlefield that we, can, and we don't need to have any differences. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Are you implying or suggesting that we should collaborate with people who are openly working for the zoo, working for Mijetiala? Uh, is that what people are saying? Are you telling me that somebody that collects payments from Saudi Arabia is somehow going to be a part and parcel of what we are doing. We must be disciplined at all times. The discipline we have in IPOB, I do not believe that any other collection of people have it. That is why, okay, how come they started before us? Let me ask you this question. They started before us, but they are being invited to a meeting courtesy of what IPOB has been able to do not because of what they themselves have done. The re only reason why people are calling for a meeting is to see if there is any way they can bring IPOB to the table. Is that not correct? That's what they're trying to do. Yes, sir. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you a question. If these people that you're asking us, why can't they come and join IPOB? Why must everybody open their own shop? Oh, come, let's collaborate. How many of people are there? The hotel building moron that keeps yapping every blessed day, how many people are following him? Let him come out for a rally. People will stop him outside. I passed through over and over. It was locked down in 2017. I was only passing through over. I did not go to. I passed only through over. Over it was closed down completely. I want that hotel building demon working for Nietiana. Let him come out and hold a rally outside. He will be stunned. You will not see up to 500 people there. Let him go and try and see. Now, you see, we must. There, there, there has to come a time when we stop behaving like fools. We must stop behaving like fools and stop being sentimental for the sake of it. These people that are everywhere organizing themselves, oh, the matter, how many people are you? How many of you? Sir, those people don't have, sir, sorry for interrupting. Sir, those people don't have numbers. But they only have few people that they are using accessible to us. Then it is, listen to me, it is your job to subdue them. Listen to me. It is your job to subdue them with the superiority of your argument. If they bring out what they are doing and lay it side by side with what IPOB is doing, nobody in their right senses will follow them. Nobody with brain in their skull. All they do is they gossip. Do I talk about them? I don't talk about them because I know they have nothing to offer. I focus on what concerns their friends all over the world and this noble family of IPOB. Ask us if they are any good. If they have this suggestion they want to bring, why can't they come and join IPOB? Why not? Why must you be on your own? Because uh, let me tell you one thing. Any day we go to that meeting now, they will record whatever, anything that we say. They go to their masters in the north and say, oh, I know how to get in the canoe to come down. Well, we are in a meeting together, trust me, as they have been doing. They will take money from the zoo government. They will take money from the governors. Even the governors we are going to ask for and collecting money, saying they can reach me. They don't know how to hear all these things. The same people that they met said, oh, please, we want to dialogue with you direct. How do we get hold of you? And I told them that the time hasn't come yet. 
we must avenge the death of all those that they killed. When we are even, when we are equal, then we can consider that. The only thing we can even discuss is referendum. Look at those people. What have they done? People get together, issue press statements, and we, what have you done on the ground to sensitize people? Do they know how much money we are paying in Washington for our consultants over there? Do they know how far we have gone all over the world? Do you think that Britain can wake up one morning and say to Nigeria, we can no longer help you? Just out of the blue, people did not do any work. Do they know the amount of work that even you yourself is doing? Do you think that those of you who have all the all the e-warriors that we have, do you think that your job is in vain? How do you think that EU, Angela Merkel, can come and tell Nigeria, go and solve your own problem? If you told Nigeria, solve, you know the solution to your problem, apply it, which is dialogue. Telling the Fulani what to do. Go and do what you must do to save that place that you call your country. Why do you think that happened? Do you think that Britain just woke up one morning and decided to, 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 to call IPOB and the other persecuted people? If you are a freedom fighter, listen to me carefully, all of you who are listening, yes, freedom fighter, if you are a freedom fighter, you must be consistent. You don't change. And I'm not saying that if you get a superior advice, you will not take it. When people advise us, we take it. If you advise me this morning and your advice is good, I will take it. Heaven knows I will take it and I will, I will, I will apply it. But not when you have nothing. The only thing you have is envy and jealousy. The only thing you have is negotiating with Dangote to bring you cement so you can build a hostel. The only thing you know is to sit down with BP Shibu and be talking rubbish every blessed day. What are your plans? What, do you, what plans do you have? You know you have nothing. Now what I expect the idiots to do is to collapse that nonsense that he has and ask these people, go and join IPOB. Because that is what the idiot said yesterday. I was listening to him. I, I hate talking about people, but I'll talk about him this morning. The fool said yesterday that um, if they are serious about getting Biafra, they must join hands with everybody. But you told us that Biafra had come already. That's what this idiot told us, that Biafra is already here, that he has a government, he has a prime minister, all of them claiming they have Biafra government. Why can't you go to Biafra to plan headsman? It was IPOB that did it. IPOB did it in such a way that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Umahi opened his mouth and said, we no longer have full army headsmen in Ebony. It was done by IPOB and our volunteer command. Do you understand me? What have these people done? Yes, sir. They have absolutely nothing. They have done nothing for our people. It's only to be gossiping, yapping rubbish every blessed day, making noise so that they can be noticed by Abuja to give them money. We cannot work with them. Never, ever, ever. If they want to work with us, they should come out publicly and say, IPOB is the moving train. We are going to join them as South Africans did with ANC. Thank you very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? If you can, please be kind enough to give us your name and where you're calling from, if you may. Yeah, Mazi, good afternoon. My name is Mazi Chinedu, calling from Cambodia. From Cambodia, yes, go ahead. Yeah, Mazi, I just want to um, just put a light on what you have said before for the benefit of doubt. Because uh, I happened to learn into some people where they were arguing on some statements you made some, other, some time ago on your broadcast when you said that uh, that uh, all the people governors have been promised the president and the vice president. And they were like, Again, how can uh, the all Igbo governors be promised a president and vice president at the same time? So I just asked them a simple question. What I asked them was, have you seen an awesome man fighting his brother in opposite party? And we are like shaking. Now, I have to clear the air. So why I'm making it public so that people may understand more what the planists are doing to our people? What they are doing is that, from what I understand from your broadcast, is that the people in PDP will be promising those in PDP, they are, they are fellow party members in PDP from Southeast, that they will do this for them. And those who are in APC will be doing the same thing, doing their own bidding, trying to disorganize those in Southeast and making them believe that they are, they are together in this, uh, in this struggle of getting the president, you know? Without knowing that all of them are doing the same thing, just like what they are doing in, in a what is it called in a police and the army army uh, system formation, they will use those outside outside people trying to buy our people 
And when they get to them, they will probably send me half an hour and they will fight fighting each other. So my advice is that our Southeast governors should know themselves, irrespective of their, their parties, and know that these people are using them. They should know themselves and stop doing the bidding of the fallen uh, 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 men. They are destroying our people. They are making us to hate our, ourselves. Why they are, only, they are uniting in the north and working to destroy the, 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 the Southeast people. So please, my advice is to our Southeast governors for them to reason, reason for once, and see reason from what we are saying. We are fast and saying that enough is enough. They should stop killing our people. They should stop killing our brothers and forget about Fulani that they have nothing to offer them. This is what I have to advise them as. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you for that. Somebody is saying that the volume is low. I don't know what they mean by that, that the volume is low. But we shall endeavor to try and raise the volume as much as we can. But here this morning we are live and we are direct. Even heaven is bearing us with us because we preach the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. That is why this very noble family is the largest mass movement on the face of this very earth. It is not by accident. It is because here we speak the truth. And everything that we say, we follow it up with action. They claim that the wretched, the pampas wearing Salikin Fulani is back in Imo State talking as usual. <laughs> okay, set to bow, Makadega Mama. It will set very, very soon. All of you talking before, talking rubbish, you can hear what the idiot is saying. You can hear what the idiot is saying. So that you don't forget, let us take this call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me, please, your name and where you are? They're not paying attention. The caller on the line, can you hear me? People are coming on, but not saying anything. Can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No. Let me take another one. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning to you, please. I want to bring your volume up. I want to bring it up, please. Your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, director, my name is Chidi Obonaya. I'm calling from London, UK. Chidi Obonaya from the United Kingdom. Please go ahead. We are listening. Yeah, director, um, there is one thing I want to suggest. Um, can, can Is it possible that all our... ESN commanders be on satellite phone so that even if they are going to be on satellite phone is he is here we have to give me this advice why don't you write privately you don't know that if they if there are how many satellite phones are there in the world maybe about four or maximum how's that fulani that i wouldn't say how's that fulani i do apologize to to my house of friends fulani janja way they have over 30 billion dollars war chest to keep nigeria won they will bribe anybody, they will cajole, they will assassinate, they will kill, they will do everything within their powers to keep the zoo one. That is how they can sustain the ownership of oil wells in Bayosa by the Sultan of Sokoto. That is the only way that the Emir of Gwandu can own oil wells in Akwaibom. That is the only way they can continue to dominate and make our lives a misery. 30 billion. If you mention satellite phone, they can go and buy up every satellite phone provider in the world. It would even cost them up to $4 billion. They will buy up all of them. Do you understand? Because they control the means of wealth of Nigeria. They can do whatever they like. The vast amounts of money at their disposal is, in fact, is limitless. They can do anything. So there are some advice you don't give live on air. I accept what you're saying. That is need for secure communication on the ground. But the very first way we can start securing our people on the ground is by those in the diaspora not calling our camps on the ground. That's number one. People, unless you are, in fact, nobody is allowed from abroad to contact commanders and men who are fighting on the ground. You are not allowed to do that. You don't know who's listening to your phone, who's tapping your phone. You can be with your face recklessly and be making mouth and you compromise the security of our men on the ground. What you have said is welcome, but we must look for alternative because you have said it live on air. We can no longer implement it. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. 
The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line for the last time, can you hear me? I don't like I'm not I don't like people who are cold. Hey, my goodness. Very, very cold. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning to you. Please give us your name and where you're coming from. This is a weird thing. Emoji. I'm calling from Benin Republic. From Benin Republic. Please go ahead. We are all listening. Go ahead. I must commend you. Yes. I must commend you so much for your efforts to say that you emancipate this most ancient nation on earth, dear friend. Very old. I must commend you so much for that. Very, very old. Very old. Yes. So, uh, what I want to uh, chip in this morning is this. There is this uh, anonymous that has been uh, predicting every lot of information that are going to happen in the future. And it seems that some of the things that these guys say always uh, come into accomplishment. And the guy also said that uh, there is uh, one Slovakian man that was paid to come and assassinate you. And that uh, the Nigerian army is planning to raid bombs in Imo State. So I want to give an advice also for you to please be very, very careful. Even the way you walk, the things of um, people around you, please, we can't afford to lose you. So when I got the news, I was so much worried. So I want to give you an advice. And also I want to encourage each and everyone who has been trying in one way or the other to make sure that this sovereign nation uh, is restored. I want to commend all of you and God is infinite mercy will always show us favor and kindness. You say, you say, you say, thank you very, very much for that. Thank you, thank you very much for that. We have callers everywhere. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling us from. I'm Benedict. I'm calling from Italy. Yes, please go ahead. Yes, sir. I really want to thank you for the eye opening you brought to us in Nigeria. Because it, me, I'm not a biographer, but right from day one, I'll be following you. Because I used to educate people about about this biographer of the things, as in, in the civilization it will bring to Africa, the benefits, everything. So I used to see some people argue about this uh, biafra of things. Some people are opposing it. <clears throat> but to my own view, I know that this biafra of thing is, is an eye-opening to Nigeria, not only Nigeria alone, but to Africa. Because we as a Nigeria in diaspora. Yes. For carrying down in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So... This, this is an opportunity. I want to encourage everybody out there to support this. But where are you from? Where are you from? What I want to ask you, where are you from? You say you're not a Biafran. Where are you from? Okay, I'm half data, half people. My father is from, uh, my father is a uh, Yoruba. So oh, okay, so you are Yoruba. You are Yoruba. We, are, we come from where our father yeah, comes yes, from. Sir. So you are Yoruba. Yeah, you do do well. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So I want to encourage everybody out there not to neglect this movement. It's it's really it's something that everybody should stick to. And you are a blessing. You are a blessing to 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 us as in Nigeria. Yes, because I most time, sometimes before you say something, I used to argue a lot with many people out there. Even before I before I came to Italy, I used to argue with people out there as in I used to tell them that you are doing a great job, that people should suppose, they're supposed to support you with every, everything, directly or indirectly, they should support you and promote you, because this, this is what we have, we have been waiting for. Yes, our forefathers, they, they didn't do enough, they didn't do enough, because we have been oppressed for too long. I don't know, because sometimes, uh, let's come to reality. Let's come to reality. When you see all these uh, uh, Aousa people, let's say these Fulani people, it is when I travel to the northern part of the Italy. It was then that I I begin to understand that 
we don't relate to these people in any form. As in, the food we eat, the, there's no place in this world where they call a country when you can't see the people that they don't relate with something, one thing or the other. Yes. But when you come to this, when you come to the reality, we are this full and we don't, there's nothing, one single thing that I can pick up that we used to relate with them. So how will you call such type of a place a country for crying out loud? There's nothing you can use to, to, to compare that, yes, they, they look like more Nigeria. Even we look more Ghanaian, more than the full and all these Aousa people. Ghanaian look more, we look similar like Ghana, Ghanaians and all this thing. But the Aousa, we don't have anything similar at all. So the thing is scaling. It's just, just, I'm just, my head is just, I don't know. So I want to encourage everybody out there to support this movement. It is a great movement and it is eye opening. So are they waiting for our generation to pass out before they will be, they want to put load into our generation and with our unborn children? So we have to make this thing come to reality. Even if we don't even benefit the separation, but let our children, we are fighting this fight for our children, our unborn of children. Of course. Of course. So this is just it. Thank you very much. I, we still keep, I will still keep encouraging people out there to support this movement, sir. Of course. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much. I think when he started, he wanted to say, uh, thank you very, very much, my dear brother. He wanted to say half Yoruba and half Igbo, but the mom is from the Delta part, from the from Igbo land, they put into Delta state, so to speak. So it made me, mistakenly said, um, half Delta, half Igbo. He wanted to say half uh, um, Delta, Igbo, and half Yoruba. I welcome that very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Myself, I have blood relatives who are Yoruba for your information. I have blood relatives who are married to Yoruba people and vice versa. But one thing I do know is that in the, uh, uh, at the end of this very race, Yoruba, Ududua and Biafra will be one. At the end of this race, Ududua and Biafra will be one because we reason. Can you see how brave they are young people we are behaving yesterday in Abiyoguta? Very, very brave because they have reason. They can reason, they can think. They now understand that Tinubu is their problem, that Obasanja is their problem. All these people all over the place, they are their problems. Now they have realized they have woken up. Who is it down to? Radio Biafra, IPOB. Not all these gossip merchants. Gossip merchants. According to everywhere they go, they are gossiping. They have not done anything. The reason why the zoo is collapsing today is because of these indigenous people of Biafra. Nobody else. So if you're calling your meeting and you want to call the entire village, that is, entire, that is your problem. The reason why you want to call a meeting is because of IPOB. Then focus on IPOB and call the meeting. It serves two purposes. It will tell the other people that it is only IPOB that got us to where we are today. Only IPOB that is doing the right thing because the rest are not doing anything. They're not doing nothing. Anybody can wake up tomorrow. I am the Afra Independent Movement. Come and join me. Let's mix together. I am the Afra Liberation Council, all that rubbish. You have done nothing. Cannot do anything. Did not defend our land. When the history of this very battle is written about, they will say that our children will ask their teachers in schools in years to come. Teacher, who drove away Fulani from a boy state? They will say this IPOB. Now you understand that? What? How will they remember you? People that you're asking us to go and meet, let us come together, join together. I'm asking you, what have they been able to do? I ask of you, what have they been able to accomplish? Absolutely nothing. You cannot, you cannot start very well doing, let's say you're a mathematician. You, you, can, you cannot start very well and then you get the answer wrong. You say, oh, but you can see I started well, but I got the answer wrong. It doesn't make any sense. Makes no sense at all. People who were at the helm, who had the courage or who had the grace to stand up, to mention Biafra from the beginning, why did you derail? Why did you derail? These are the questions they must answer themselves and stop trying to interfere with, do you know the plans we have for the zoo? Everything we are doing is step by step. Let me tell people something they don't understand about our method and how we intend to grab out what we are doing. This uh, uh, parrot, the yapping yesterday, maybe uh, I think um, Dangote Cement is uh, hitting him very hard. So he needs more money. I think cement price has gone up to finish one of the hostels he's building. 
When such people speak, you listen to them. Are you not mad? That means you don't know what freedom fighting is. You have no idea what freedom fighting is all about. Accumulation of wealth, personal wealth, is not freedom fighting. It's not freedom fighting. When you have the gods to rise up to mention Biafra from the beginning, you should have remained consistent regardless of the circumstance you find yourself in. You should have remained consistent, not dancing about with politicians, not collecting money to put your culture of whoever in power as a governor, not to, oh, Chineke, these people, you people are mad, I'm telling you. You're not really sad, you know. How many buildings did um, Mandela own? How many universities did Mandela build? How many people who are tormenting their oppressor is living with that oppressor in that land? Three places, grave, prison, or exile. If you are leading any serious freedom fighting movement in the world, if you are serious so, as an Ambazonian, Ambazonian president is in jail, the leader is in jail. His lieutenants and commanders, they are outside and they are fighting. They are battling every blessed day. What does that tell you about those who are uh, relaxing in a mansion? Their swimming pool is almost Olympic size swimming pool, uh, swinging around from side to side. They are telling you they are freedom fighters. We are freedom fighters. We are here. We are rubbish. Dining with your enemy. Ndara. And you have time to listen to such fools. That is why all of you must be guarded in what you do. If you want to talk to IPOB, you talk to IPOB. Not telling me you want to bring this and bring that. And did, did those people cause you problems before? Is IPOB not the reason why you're calling for this meeting? Why add this and add that and add that and add that? During any negotiation anywhere in the world, you go to the lead movement. It is there in the United Kingdom submission in their policy statement in Canada, in the USA. The lead people struggling for Biafra is IPOB, no other person. Not your grandmother, your grandfather. You want to bring, uh, of course, only if they are part of the family, of course. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please, your name and where you are? The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? This is Radio Biafra, can you hear me? Oh my goodness, the calls are so plenty. My goodness, the calls are too much. They are way too much. They are way too much. The calls are too much. Hello, 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 Oh my good. The caller on the line, can you hear me? No. Oh my goodness, the lines are jammed, you know. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling us from. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> sir, I want to tell you something. Go ahead. Which is bothering my mind. What is that? Uh, there's there's one I will tell you offline. I live. I'm in Aba. I'm calling from Aba here. So what, what, what I wanted to tell you is that <laughs> it is not. It's, you know, you're not paying attention. You want to listen to your voice. You're very, very stupid. Very, very stupid and foolish. You want to listen to your voice. Is that the case? You want to hear your own voice. Is that the case? That's why you called us to hear your voice so you can tell your girlfriend or your woman that you did hear my voice or did your girlfriend. Hey, but he is wrong. Mad people everywhere. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. Good morning. My name is Najuku, calling from Bremen, Germany. From Bremen in Germany, please go ahead. We're listening. Good morning. So let me just go straight to the point. I don't want to waste any people's time because it's early in the morning. 
Um, I have to give you a great, a great time thanks for all you have, all you have been doing for us. And uh, I have two things just to bring into today's um, question and answer. And I will plead for you to please. It may sound funny, but um, I just say you should look into it because um, it has been bothering my mind. Because it has been a long time I tried to put something together. If we can go do some things in Nigeria in a very special way. But I said maybe if it comes into your hand, maybe it will go more easier and better. I was just thinking if um, it would be possible to arrange some musicians in Biafra land. So, and these musicians, if they can, I think um, the son of Fela, which is um, Shiro, if he can be contacted and with um, our own brothers, one of them that, are, that have been with us, to try to see if they can have connections with some foreign singers, to just bring Nigeria these days. And why can't they put it down in a book? Why play it in a song? So we can we can be listening to music and making merry and not take things seriously. Uh, Fela was, listen to me, listen, listen, listen. Fela was a philosopher. So also was Bob Marley. So also was Lucky Dube. So also was Sonia Kusum. If you in case you don't know, go and listen to all their music. Go and listen to Fela. Listen to Bob Marley. Listen to Lucky Dube. Listen to Sonia Kusum. They have put all their thoughts, all their thinking, ideology, and philosophy of liberation into music. All we do is that we go to nightclub and we dance to it. After dancing, we go home and we rest and sleep. It needs to be put down on a book so you can read. Okay. You can read and you understand what is happening around you. Not music. We use music to praise God in heaven. We use music to remember people and all the rest of it. Apart from that, it serves no other purpose. If you want to philosophize, if you want to teach people, if you want to propagate an ideology of liberation, the best place to put it is in a written format, in a book. So those who are keen and interested can purchase and also read it. Thank you very, very much for your advice. Thank you for that. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Thank you, my lord. My name is Chinedu. I'm calling you from Aba. Chinedu from Aba. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, I have uh, three suggestions that I want to make. Then I ask one question. One of my suggestions is, is Maze, I am asking if you can, um, if you can, uh, um, um, if you can introduce an online training for our coordinators. A special training for all our coordinators and IPOB um, officers. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you completely and totally. Yes, I agree with that you. That course will not be for briefing. It will be an online course. My suggestion to read is that they will even be given a certificate and they will take an exam. Because one time you told us that you are preparing some, uh, you are writing a book. Yes. So before this book will come, what I am suggesting is that you will start up an online training class at least one time every week. All of them will get connected so that they should be. I want you to bring out the topic reason and the common sense. Bring out every courses that are inside the reason and common sense and they teach them everything. I know that some of us know, but let us also go and hear. Part of those things that you wrote in a book, Put it in that training for them. Put an exam for them. Let them write that exam. Because many coordinators in some areas, sometimes due to pressure or due to certain challenges, they derail from the... Um, they, they, they cannot withstand the strength of the test of time. So by the time you have these online classes with them, I think it will make them to be strong. That is my number one submission. My Lord... Let me, let, let, hold, hold, hold on to number two. Let me answer number one, then you go to number two. I did a training on, I did a training on, your phone is on, your phone is on speaker. 
I did a training on Friday. Okay. On Friday. I, did, I have my certificate now. I did an online training okay. on Friday. And every everybody who is a commander on the ground is going to go to the same training. There is a training ongoing right now being arranged for all our finance officers. And I'm also, I'm sure that uh, Mazichike Dozim, who is who runs IPOB on a day-to-day -day basis as the head of the Rector of State, will also make sure that every co coordinator gets trained. I think our media people, they go through training as well. So we must be training ourselves all the time. What you said is very, very important. We need to be undergoing training on a regular basis so that when you're uh, 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 reallocated to another position or relocated to another position, you don't start whining, grumbling, and looking for a janja way to sell our secrets to, or looking for where our money is so that you can grab it and run away. Thank you very much for that. Yes, your second one, please, and very, very quickly, because others are waiting. Very quickly. Thank you. Yes. Please, my lord, you know what? Um, apart from number two, I'll even go to number three, but let me quickly go to number two. Number two is this, because we are utilizing the resources in social media, which has also helped us, because during the time of our lord, Ujubu, there was no social media. Now social media has come. But then another thing has come up again. I am asking, it's my personal suggestion. Can we tap into cryptocurrency as no. a method of payment? No, not now. Not okay. now. Because we don't know what is so. happening to cryptocurrency. We do not know. Not yet. We do not know. Not okay. yet. So when we are thank sure you. of thank that you. very means, then we can afford to be able to use it. And thank you very, very much for your call. Thank you very much for your call. We welcome it. Thank you very, very much. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Your name and where you're calling from? Yes, my name is Chukwemeka Nadi. I'm calling from England. Chukwemeka from England. Please go ahead and raise your voice for us, please. Raise your voice for us, if you will. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, so I just want to make a little bit suggestion. Go ahead. Um, is it not all right you at Garba Shehu and Lai Mohammed where are you placed in some weekend? Yes, because there is something about Africa and their sense of primitivity. And now let me tell you one thing that people don't understand. Do you know why the end SARS protest collapsed? Because people said you cannot come from the East to Lagos to, to violently protest or to avenge the death of those that were murdered or slaughtered at Lake Itogit. In other words, yeah. you should have allowed it, since it is in Yoruba land, in Yoruba territory, you should have allowed the Yorubas to deal with it. And that goes back to the heart of what I've been preaching to Africans from day one. We are tribal animals by nature, we Africans. We are always ethnocentric in our approach to things. If you know that somebody coming from the East to Lagos to protest violently against injustice is bad. Why are we in December 1, Nigeria? No. That is the question that some of them in Yoruba media working for Tinubu has not been able to answer. I'll give you another example as to why we are tribalistic. Do you know that Obasanjo came out yesterday to say he is not necessarily in support of Tinubu? But for the Africa Development Bank chairman, Adesanya, whatever his name is. You know, he's a dapper, he's a young man, he looks very bright, he looks very intelligent. If I, perhaps if I believe in the zoo, which I don't, I will never believe in, he is the type of person that I may consider to even be a president. I don't mind. He, he looks very clean and neat. The uh, Africa Development Bank chairman, he's Adesanya, he's a Yoruba uh, uh, chap. Yeah. But do you know that Obasanjo could not recommend any other young, vibrant leader from the East. There is Donald Duke. I remember the time during the first um, part of this year, useless um, rubbish they call dispensation in 1999 to heaven knows, was it 2011 or whatever? Donald Duke was doing very, very well. In Cross River State, people even suggested that he should be the president of Nigeria. But Obasanjo did not recommend him. This was a man that held political office in Cross River State and did exceptionally well. Or Basanjo did not recommend him. Or Basanjo recommended his own brother again. This is to tell you that people are very parochial. People are very tribal. People are very ethnocentric. They always gravitate towards their own people. That is why Nigeria can never stand. I don't know why people always want to argue foolishly about sustaining one Nigeria. Please go ahead. 
Okay, one more thing I want to say, sir. Um, I think our people should not take David Umahi's comment serious that um, the Bubago is not against um, ESF. There is no Bubago if we see them with them alive. I have an answer. Always an ungodly opinion. If you think that you are doing a Bubago, come out to see you outside. You can do a bag inside the government house. Uh, 15 or 20 of them. You can do your bag maybe around the government building or whatever. Any day we catch any of those idiots wearing those water uniform. Those water uniform. Any day we catch them outside, they are finished. That their vehicle will turn it into our own. Watch and see what is going to happen to them. Let them come outside now and patrol. Let us see. Come on. Like I said to you, if you say if, if anybody wants to doubt our resolve or say we are not doing anything, I want one single community to host uh, one community. That thing they want to see it. Some idiots are going about saying, Oh, they are attacking their own people. These idiots were there when they came to my house to kill me. They didn't say anything. These bastards were there when they came to my house and killed 28 men. My father and my mother died as a result of it. My mother-in-law died as a result of it. This is just never said anything. They were there when the same Nigeria police and army went on war and killed people. They said nothing. They were there when we are running for Trump. Not even for Biafra in New Gorgia, only for Trump. They were killing us with their snipers. Nobody said anything. Now the shoes in the other foot and now they're talking rubbish. Thinking they can use emotional blackmail to get us. If you want peace in the land, you must set up an open independent panel of inquiry with a South African white judge, not a black man. And so when you show G, you go to South Africa, you bring a white judge, a white man from South Africa, or white woman, a judge, to come to Biafra land and preside over the case of the slaughter of the innocent by the police and the army that no one, nobody wants to talk about. People talk about unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen, unknown gunmen. I'm asking you, when unknown soldiers were killing people, what did you say? When Obasan just sent unknown soldiers to go and kill the mother of Fela and Nicola Pokuti, did you do anything? When they sent unknown parcel bomb to Delegiwa to kill him, did you say anything? Because anything that calls itself a Nigerian is a natural born hypocrite. And that is why the zoo is sinking and sinking very, very fast. Boko Haram is too, no, in fact, ISIS in West Africa, only one hour from Asorov, that they are deploying soldiers to Juku Bunker. There are soldiers in near my house right now, they have come. The same with Juku Bunker, they have come. Any day they die, they, they start looking for who to blame. They are the ones looking for trouble. They have come. They are the ones shooting people dead in nowhere. None of you can talk about it now. Nobody can. That idiot, that hotel building, stinking, filthy looking idiot, a fool, complete fool. Cannot if did not even talk about the, the first year students shot dead by the army. Because they gave the idiot money. Our people must understand we are not going back, we're not going to stop. Let that heaven fall. Is only tear that will come out, not blood. For very many years they were killing us. Nobody was saying anything. They kept killing us. They went to they went to, to MN in broad daylight, DSS. When when Fulani was attacking Mingo, also one, DSS did not go to stop them. DSS never blocked any Fulani, Janja weed uh, terrorists. Never. It's only us. They came to Yemen to come and kill us because we are asking for freedom. The same thing that uh, Azikiwe asked for, Awolo asked for, uh, Tafawabale were asked for, uh, Amadebelo asked for, nobody killed them. That we are asking for, and you want to kill us, and you want us to fold our hands while you're killing us every day. And we keep writing that. Check the Onya Hoku is in Oliyako. Onya Hoku. That is why anything that they give us, they will receive it twice or double. They'll get it up. I said I will bury Ikonsa with 2,000 heads of army and police, and it's going to happen. God punish them. Thank you very much for your call. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. Good morning, sir. Maze. Good morning to you. 
My name is Eja Meze, Frank India Kamange. I'm calling from Republic of Ghana. And where are you from? Your name sounds a bit um Eja Wongwa, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, in respect of uh, our guest uh, of this month, uh, your broadcast, yes. you did mention about that you allowed, uh, you've given them option to they can declare the winner at the public place and the uh, vote puts. Yes. Then, I, I begin to ask question because if we can re, uh, replica what happened to Imo State, my state, what of after announcing the uh, winner and they allow the winner to run for few months or days as usual, they use their normal uh, uh, court order or court whatsoever to impose another person. What can we do to that? They cannot because they are not that foolish. John Jawi, they are not that foolish. They are not, they have a few of them that can still reason. They are not that foolish. Once that person is publicly, uh, um, um, announced and duly elected as the governor of Anambra State, I'm not sure anybody is going to stop them or try to tamper with the result. But what we are telling them stands. We don't want anybody to announce any result in Abuja. It has to be, they must give guarantees or else, or else they know what is coming. They know what is coming. How do you appoint that They know what is coming. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very, very much for your call. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Your name and where you are. My great leader, may God bless you. May Chukwu Kabeama be kind with you. Yes, sir. Always. And you too. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. My name is Obas Obase. I'm from a place called Akeze, one of the smallest republic in Iboland. Um, I thank you so much for what you've been doing. I don't have much to say, but um, I said you should continue to hold them on the balls, on the scrotum that you're holding them. Of so, course, we, uh, we, are not, we are not going to allow them to do anything, absolutely nothing. They understand it, yeah. the Janja would understand the way we operate. We cannot allow them any breathing space until if they want peace, give me a referendum. If you want peace, give me a referendum. If our people don't understand that as I was responding to the previous caller and the useless hotel building, shameless idiot, somewhere in nowhere. One thing they must understand is this. We are doing everything we are doing incrementally. If what we are doing, if we had done what, if we had launched ESN, let's say last year, people will misunderstand us. There is a time for everything. Any action you're taking to dismantle the zoo must be guided by heaven itself. If we had introduced ESN in 2017, 2018, 2019, oh my God, people won't understand what we're doing. But now that we have done it, everybody have come to the realization that what we have done is good. So everything takes time. Yeah. When the time comes for us to cripple the economy of the zoo, we'll cripple it. That time hasn't come yet. Allow the people to feel the pain. Let them understand that Fulani never meant well for them. I want them to understand that Tinubu Basanjo, all these one Nigeria slaves that neo-colonialists are using do not mean well for them. When we get to that stage, then you sing the zoo. When the Avengers came before, Avengers came a little bit too early. That was why they stopped. They gave them money and they stopped. That is why Go uh, converting with politicians is a very dangerous thing. I'm telling you the truth. That is why we can never honor this. They are useless uh, meeting that they are calling us to come and do with them. We won't honor it. Exactly. We, we know the way. Um, look at what they did to Avengers, and today Avengers is dead. Avengers dead, and nothing was accomplished. Please go ahead. Yeah. Um. When anybody is talking about you colliding with other people for for this uh, struggle, you have to remind them to a man called Robert Sobukwe. Robert Sobukwe was one of the stalwarts of ANC during their liberation struggle in South Africa. He left ANC because there was ideological differences between him and Nelson Mandela and Walter Sisulu. He said that the ANC has to be made up of only black people of Africa so that they will take the glory when they have the... Yes, Walter Sisulu. You mean Walter Sisulu, yes. yes. No, Walter Sisulu, so, Robo Sobu, Mangoliso, Robo so, uh, Sobukwe, mm -hmm. and, and the Nelson Mandela, and Walter Sisulu was in one argument, in yes. one side of the argument. Yes. So Mangoliso is saying that 
the ANC has to be made up of only black African people. No, no Indian, no white, no Jew, nobody. So that when they get this freedom, they will be proud to say that they get the freedom. Then Nelson Mandela said no that the we Europeans have been here for centuries. So if there is any European that is genuine, they can absorb them in ANC, both Indians and Pakistanis. So this was why Roboso Bukwe left ANC. He was one of the leading stalwarts of ANC, just like Edozie is to you today. He left ANC, but he left ANC and formed a political movement called PAC, Pan-African Congress of Azania. But but well, one day, he never attacked ANC. He continued to attack the apartheid regime that was, uh, that, that they were targeting. So he never said anything against uh, Walter Cicero or, um, or, um, or Mandela or other, 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 um, liberation struggle leaders. But he focused on the apartheid regime with his new, um, new, um, movement with, um, <clears throat> with the other people that left ANC at the time. So what I'm saying is this, that when people are saying, come to meeting, come and join, come and join, you you have the opportunity as well to focus your energy on, on the Fulani, whom we are fighting against. We don't have to be in any, with anybody in order to achieve what we are looking for. We already know in IPOB that we will achieve it by the grace of God. Yes, so anybody coming come and say, come and follow, come and join, come and join, you have to remind them that man. His party is still in, in, in South Africa today. You know, ANC is still there. So, and they are still in different ideological movement in politics today. So, that is what I want to say. Then again, is there's um, somebody who made a comment last time. We are hearing a rumor of Vaclav from uh, Serbia. Who uh, that is, that is, uh, 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 the uh, Vaclav uh, must be afraid of Nam the Khan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be afraid. Vaclav is somebody. Some of us have already know his profile for a very long time, but we know a lot of things are going on. A lot of things are going on in your head. We know that because of some of us who has been outside and who has been on the street movement as well, we know what these people are, are capable of doing because of their money. We know that they have been pushing hand everywhere in order to terminate whatever is going on. But the only thing is that we will be praying and now we ask you to take personal precaution as well. Of course, it's, it's only, I've been taking, I have been taking precaution for very many years. It didn't start today. Yes, they I, came to my house they, to kill that. me. They surrounded my house and they couldn't kill me. Yeah. Is it one wretched uh, Caucasian that will? Who is the idiot? Who is the idiot? Where I am, if they see any white person around that very place, they'll kill the idiot. So let him come. Who is the fool? What stupid back life is so, Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please, if you may. The caller on the line, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Let me, the calls are too, oh my God, the calls are too much. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? Yes, my Lord. Please. Uh, Mark, they are paying fifty people, people fifty thousand naira to come online and agitate uh, that Nigeria is fixable. <laughs> that is what is going on now. They are paying fifty people fifty thousand naira to people. Somebody collected their money and ran away. They gave out their money. They get the guy ran away with the money. So there is another one, one Yoruba boy that they gave one hundred and fifty thousand. His name, he said, he's doing Niger, Niger. Niger life matters. So they co he collected the money. The guy gave me the profile of the boy and the other information on the <laughs> youth to deliver the money to death. You know, IPOB will work with fast and vigor. I have the fast and vigor. I have to post it online. What they are doing. Oh, so, yeah. The problem that fire them is that the full that will do the work don't know how to do English. They don't know anything. They cannot do anything online. So that is where Thunder fired them in that angle. And now they come to Biafra like looking for 50, 50,000 naira to share to go to go online. <laughs> to tell people that Nigeria is fixable. Nigeria is not fixable. <laughs> my dear brother, you, you, you made me then, laugh this morning, honestly. You, they are paying them, yes, they are paying them 50, 50,000 naira. Zoological Republic. No shit. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? 
Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Please, your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. Oh, my name is Omachine Mena David. I'm calling from, from Thailand. From Thailand, please go ahead. Yeah, sir. Um, I want to ask a question, sir. Um, now the Janjaweed Theological Republic of the zoo is disturbing us through this uh, from their agent, Mark Zuckerberg. <clears throat> Last time, um, there was a time we talked about our own application and how to start using our own application. So I want to know what we are doing to get our own application so we can leave this in their devilish Facebook um, for them and for us to broadcast on our own platform where we can be interested. We have gone very far in that. We have gone very, very far. Simon Epa has briefed me on, on the progress we are making, including my secretary, and we are making a whole lot of progress. The Android is ready. But we are waiting for the iOS to be completed. You know that security is key. When you're launching such a project, you don't even want your enemies to know where it's being hosted and what is happening because they'll go and simply buy over the company. It's happened to us before. Nigeria bought over Satlink before in Israel. I went to I went to Israel, I went to Tel Aviv and I signed a contract with Satlink, Israeli satellite um, provider to be carrying our signal on a MOS5 satellite. And lo and behold, the Nigerian government went and bought over the company for 20, was it $28 million? Bought over a company in America. They, that American company now took over Satlink. The first thing they did was to write to me. They emailed me. I said, oh, please, uh, can you bring your contract uh, that we have with you? Oh, why don't you change your... They asked me to change the, to my tone, how I preach, how I can get to Nigeria. I still have the email. And I told the woman, with all due respect, go to hell. And that was how we left Satlink and now moved to the new people that we're with. That tells you what we are. If people don't understand the enormity. Look at now that people 50, 50,000 naira to go online and be writing, Nigeria can be salvaged. Nigeria is free because they know, know everybody knows. Even ants on the ground knows that the zoo is not fixable. But that is black people for you. After all, it takes a black man to colonize and enslave another black man. That's where we are. Thank you very much for your call. Thank you very, very much. I have another caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? Your name and where you are, please. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling my us from? My name is Uche Naibe. I'm calling from Houston, Texas. From Houston in Texas. Please go ahead. Yeah, I want to thank you and I appreciate you for a wonderful work, sir. Um, my question this one, not really a question, is advice kind of, you know, uh, we've spoken before on this issue. Um, they keep scaring us with what we have when Biafra is restored in terms of using um, South Sudan as a reference. My, my question on that advice is what do we need to do? We need to do everything possible to make sure we do not fight each other, you know? Who is going to fight us? The, if the zoo army and police cannot fight us openly, who is the idiot that will try to fight us? The PPC. Who is the idiot? Is it because we're keeping quiet? If I want all these idiots there, there I'll give the order to you there by tomorrow, they'll, they'll, all, be, they'll, they'll all be massacred. Who is the idiot that's going to, to, to start a civil war in Biafra land when Biafra comes? Who is the bagger? I ask you. Who is the idiot? And you think that making one 10 minute video uh, uh, sitting on your balcony entitles you to let him bring out his army? Let us see. Let the idiot bring out his army. Let's see. Is it because you're keeping quiet? And if you fight a civil war, then so what? Did America not fight a civil war? America fought Britain, became free from Britain, the same greatest country on this earth. USA fought a civil war. Then so what? I ask if we have to fight a war. If they bring it to us, we'll fight it. Thank you very much. But asking, asking, oh, Hanese, asking, asking, uh, 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 IPOB, this great family that is responsible for destroying the zoo. You, you invite us, you invite all these other cockroaches. You are, you are dreaming. You see, maybe you're there. And that's like how they are mad people. The caller on the line, can you hear me? What is your name and where are you calling from? He is not paying attention. He is listening to his own voice as usual. Him and this UG, we hardly ever listen. The caller on the line, can you hear me? The caller on the line, can you hear me? They cannot hear me. They are busy as always, waiting and hoping to hear their own voice. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Good morning to you, please. Your name and where you're calling from? 
My name is Emmanuel. I'm calling from Akwaibom, Biafra land. Akwaibom is doing me proud. I'm telling you, I am so proud of Akwaibom. I'm so proud the land of Philip Effion. So proud, I'm telling you. So proud of the men there. So proud of them. Please go ahead. Pazi, please, I have, I, have, I have something to contribute. Go ahead. We in Akwaibom here, yeah, we have been misused so much that so many people are ignorant of this very movement. Not because of anything, because of our leaders, our wicked leaders, because they are not leaders, they are blood suckers. <laughs> if you notice that we have oil in our town here, yeah, we are the most oppressed people that even in our parastatas, in our local government, you find nothing than, than full and working in a government. Government. Uh, uh, are, you serious? are you serious? Are you serious? I'm telling you. And what I notice is that the command you give is not being effectively working in a, in a quiet room. Like the land grazing of the team. If you go to Idoro, Idoro Road, in a quiet room here, you will see cattle running everywhere. You go to Aka Etinan. Down to uh, listen, a car road. You will see checkpoints everywhere. But um, Mazi, that is not the case this morning. The case is that we have some resolute ones that is determined to join ESN. We, we don't have the direct link now to to join. And the boys here, including me, we are ready. We, we are ready to die for anything to bring Biafra our country. Because of there is a question I asked my dad ever since I've started following you. Since 2019, he said, "Go and ask your parents where where are you where, where are you from? Who is your indigenous? Where, where is your where, where is your indigenous home?" And now I went I went to my father and asked him, "You are about 50 something years old, like you told me. Okay, now you are from Nigeria. Where was your father from? Mm -hmm. My father cannot give me that answer up to date." Imagine, and I've been twisting my route because of the lectures I've been getting from you. Believe me, you, man, I am from Biafra land, and nobody can doubt me that. As in, no one can tell me that I am not from Biafra. This zoological republic, and I am tired of this country. I am tired of, I am going to contribute any quarter to end this country because of this is not a country. This is a zoo, and I want to be in this zoo. This is Mazi. What I want is that I would, I would, I would like a link that can direct us because of we, we like my friends that is also determined like me that really wants to join ESN. We need a thing to join ESN to defend our father's land because this is our mother's land and we need to defend it with all we have. We are going to, I will, I will send you a link right after this very program and you'll be contacted on the ground. You have spoken very gallantly. And as I keep saying to our people all the time, uh, they keep talking about other. I said, no. The closest relatives the Igbo people have is Ibibio. As I have said time and time again, when the white man came, they could not distinguish between Ibibio and Igbo. It's because of Ibibio, that was why they named Igbo people Igbo, I-B-O. Because the white man said that Ibibio and Igbo are the same people. And as I'm talking to you now, I want you to take this thing back again to your father and let your father understand one simple fact. The same thing that the Fulani Janjaweed are doing today did to them during the war. They would dress their people up. Janjaweed dressed them up in Biafran army uniform. They would go, Britain taught, taught them to do this. They would go and commit atrocities that people may say it is Biafran soldiers that are killing them. Why not? It is not Biafran soldiers. It is uh, Fulani Janjaweed killing them. This is the thing that our people must, must understand. This is the thing that they must understand. Now, let me read this thing for you so you understand. Are you Anang? Are you Ibibio? Are you, where are you from? Oron, where are you from? I'm from Ibibio. I'm from Ibibio. Now, listen. I'm as I'm talking to you right now, my dear brother, I have gone online. As I'm talking to you now, you know I can multitask. As I'm talking to the whole world, yeah. I'm also typing. Uh, people don't know this. I can multitask very well. Now, listen very carefully. I am reading to you a Wikipedia entry of Ibibio people that every Ibibio listening right now may understand this. And after reading this, our people will indulge me, please. I will also read the one for Efik. 
I will read the one for a job so that people can understand. I have not written this thing. These are things that are written independently and verified by other people. Now listen very, very carefully to what I have to say. <laughs> the Idibio people are a coastal people in southern Nigeria. They are mostly found in Akwaibom, Cross River, and on the eastern part of Abia. The Idibio people are in Abia State. Are you listening? Abreba, precisely. It is here. It is here. Not me writing it. It is here. Abreba, Abreba, that is part and parcel and core Igbo land is also Ibibio. People don't know this. I'm, I'm telling you. Now, let us continue. Do you know what they said? They said Ibibio people are related to Anang Igbo. It's here. And Ethic people. Which means we are all one people. Forget about the differences in language and all the rest of it. If somebody, if 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 Ada 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 baby Ada Suka, that I cherish so much, if Ada Suka goes into Unsoka men Unsoka dialect, I will not understand. Come, what she say? I will not hear one single word. If I go into proper proper Ibeku dialect, nobody can understand what I'm saying. It's their only Igbo language. People must. This is it is saying. Who are the people who are Ibibia people? Ibibia people are found in Akwaibom, in Cross River, and in Abia State. They are related to Anan Iwo and Ethic people. Very correct. Chai. We are all one people. They want to divide us, but they can never succeed. I have found it, I have found it myself, like my village where I come from, we boundary with Oluchuku. Okay. Okay. Boundary with Oluchuku. And we have been very close in 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 in, in tradition. Bazi, please, I would like to contribute something. Please go ahead. I will ask this as a request also. If you can host a class to lecture just a tribe of people because of why I come to realize that we have so many ignorance people around the state here. People don't understand what we are doing on ground. Like we have been following all your brokers from day one, even from where I did not even join to your date. I have been following up and, I'm, and I, I can be very proud that I am well educated on what you have been telling, teaching because of with the fact and figures you have been giving to people when you are always online. Man, I am happy. And what I will say that, let, may, may the almighty God strengthen you more Give yes, you the grace, the knowledge, yes, the wisdom sir. to deliver us because I know you will do. When they say that people are sent by God, I do not believe it. You are the one that has proven to me that, man, I don't have to die, that people are sent by God. You are the, you are the number one example. And I would say that God will always strengthen you. Yes, I don't have more. I don't have more. I am going to call you. I, I will have that. this conversation with you in a short while. I want to join. I want to join that. That I will call you. Uh, volunteer, volunteer. I will call you shortly. I will, I, I will call you. I will use everything. Call call possible you. to stop. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my dear brother. Thank you very, very much for that. As I said to some of you before, I have now gone to Ethic. Uh, my dear brother, please stay on the line. Stay where you are. I'm coming back to you. Stay where you are. I'm coming back to you. Just give me some time. I want to clarify something. Stay where you are. Stay where you are, please. I want to clarify something. Stay where you are. I want our people, please, those of you who are online now, to go and Google ethic people. Go to Google and you write ethic people on Google. Write it and join me as we educate our people. I told you that all of us are from Anambra State. That is what I said before. I said we are all from Anambra State to start with. Even our people that you're seeing. Everybody's from Anambra State. When I say that we are all Igbo people, we say Igbo man, you want to colonize us. You want to back. I want them to understand, not from me, because everything here has been verified, and I want to read for you. Ethic people. Our dear brother called us now from Akwaibom, Ibibio, land. I now want to bring to the attention of the whole world. I want mankind to understand what I am saying this very morning about ethnic people. Listen, open your ears, and I read. The ethnic are an ethnic group located primarily in southern Nigeria, in the southern part of Cross River State. Now listen, the ethnic 
speak the Efik language, which is a Benue Congo language of the Cross River family, including you, of course, but it didn't add it here. Now listen, uh, listen carefully, please. Efik oral histories tell of migration down the Cross River from Arochuku. These people from Arochuku founded numerous settlements in the Calabar and the Creek Town area. People from Arochuku are Efik people. The day I will, you see that pig in the creek, and all those idiots yapping their mouth, hey, we are a job, a job is separate from this, a job. I will destroy you with historical facts and figures. It is here. Those that founded Efik, Efik people are from Arochuku. Efik, it is here. The Nzusu people without brain. You will be there, a white man, and not even a white man. Somebody will come from, uh, from Kotangora to come and tell you that your own brother is not your own brother. Is, where is Lai Limoke from? Where is he from? Don't I do it, where is he from? I don't know, Tibor people of Cross River State. I don't know, Tibor. It is here. Efik, Efik, oh. Including the urban of Calapa. Efik, it is here. It is here, oh. They think I, 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 you don't know I do my research before I, I say anything. Everything I tell you is 100% correct. You see Efiko, you see Ibibio, you see Anango, you see Ibo. All one people. All one people. It is here. People migrated from Arochuku the same way idiots like we is saying that Ikwere is not Igbo. Because that is who we are, autonomous community. The only people with autonomous community in the whole world. Gospel from heaven. People say, Igbo nation, Igbo nation, live a thing. You claim you are an intellectual. Simple to do research and ask yourself, why is Nam the Kano insisting that he is going to go with a feet, with a people, with a man, with a job? You have not done that research. If you do the research, my dear brother or sister, you will come to the same conclusion. It is here, it is written. A feet you're hearing, open of Calabar, a feet this, a feet that. We are the same people. There are people from Arochuku. Migration. We started migrating when when Elohim said we should live. I have said I have preached this thing so many times, they don't want to listen. The Biafra you have today are made up of three people, three distinct groups of people. One are the Bijango people, the very old people, those that know uh, that gave the world palm oil processing, how to process palm oil. The Bijango people, very, very old, the oldest people on the face of this earth. Ndibo, old people. They were in our land. The first wave came from Egypt. When the movement towards the Holy Land, when Elohim called his children, Chuko Kikabiyama, to go to Holy Land, some decided to migrate. You know, we are very stubborn people. You know, it's, it's normal. They missed the island and started coming. They came through Sudan. They came through through um um the western axis of um of um of uh, Mali. They came via uh, Yoruba land, which is uh, including because Yoruba Empire is even not up to the Republic, and they came and settled in Igbo land. Second wave, the third wave came from the Holy Land itself after the Assyrian army invaded and collapsed it. And that is the part of Israel where I stay in any time I go there. You know, the funniest thing is that the earth, the sand there is also red. They have a judge, red, red sand. That's what they have there. In a place called Harish, in Israel. The sand is red, like the sand you have in my village. They came from there. That is the calling of the house of Ephraim. And Benjamin, I want, there's something I don't want to tell about Biafra yet, because I want your brains to develop before I tell you that very story. The calling of the house of Ephraim. And they started traveling and they went to the Afar region of Ethiopia. They sojourned there for very many years. They started their migration. They went through Rwanda. They went through Congo. They went through Gabon. They went through Cameroon. And... Uh, 
they crossed the Obambala River. And before they crossed the river, before they crossed the river at Obambala, stones fell from heaven and gave them steps through which they stepped on to cross. And once they crossed, Chukwu Kikabiyama said that this is the land I'm giving to you. Those are the three people there that made up our land. And from there, Owere, Oweeri came about. From there, Arochuku, the priestly clan, our own house of Levi, house of Levi, Arochuku, their job is to pray to God, and that is their name, Arochuku. That is where you have the HQ of one, where the light of God shines upon the children of men. In H or Y, the light of God shining upon the sons of men in Arochuku. From that same Arochuku, they continued their journey and they founded the great epic nation that you have. My God in heaven, only if our people knew their history, who they are, because they understand that the only way that the Sultan can control oil wells in Bayelsa is by dividing us. Everybody from a jaw land, you are from Arochupu. A zon is Arochupu. A fig is Arochupu. Fact. And you know, we are doing, do you, any of you know we're doing our DNA sequencing now of all these people to bring it conclusively to the table that we are all one people. We are going to shock the whole world. Just forget all this nonsense. Uh, we are going to meeting. Uh, uh, ESN is coming to a meeting. Uh, we want to call myself. How many are there in myself? I do up to 50. Let them come out and march. I am not in Biafra land. If I give the order for people to come out on the streets, my Lord God in heaven, I'm sure you know what the result will be. If you are too busy buying rod and cement and, uh, and uh, molding block, you refer to such a person as a freedom fighter. That means you don't even know what freedom fighting means. You have no idea. Let us go back to our line. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please, your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. I have a caller on the line. This caller, can you hear me? No, they cannot hear me. They cannot hear me. Let us go and take this one. The caller on the line, can you hear me? Yeah. Please, your name and where you're calling us from, if you may. Yeah, uh, my name is Sabademi. I'm from calling from New York. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. What is your name? Today, What's your name? My name. I'm a young. I'm an old dua lady. My name is Abidemi. I'm calling from New York. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Mazin Abdikanu, for your great job. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you for letting us know that we have been sleeping. And um, I would like to say one thing. The Yoruba race, the 21st century Yorubas have woken up. Obasanjo is not speaking for us. The old Latani Ferret, they are not speaking for us. But Adesoya is not speaking for us. And no, but they are not speaking for us. We, the Yoruba youth, we have risen. And let them say whatever they, they want to say. Yoruba nation has come to stay. We we are we have come to stay. We are not going to let them dictate our future for us anymore. Wonderful. So we have we told them, and the Yoruba, we are doing our agitation right now, which is the next stage that the, the that we are right now. And we have told them, no governor of any kind can stop us from from agitating. Any day they because we had the news that they want to start a lockdown in Yoruba states. And because of the rally we are doing, and we've told them any day they are doing going to start the lockdown, that is when we, the Yoruba, are going to go to whichever states to do our rally, and they cannot stop us. Amazing. So we, the Yoruba people, we don't support whatever all these big fool are doing. They are not our voices anymore. We reject them in total, and they cannot speak for us no more. Wonderful. And we, the Yoruba school, we stand for Yoruba nation. And we, Yoruba people, if you look at our history very well, you will know that we have so many things to do with the Igbos. The Biafrans, they are like our brothers of from another mother. Of course. That's we true. have everything in common, our, our, our education, everything is together. Yes. So 
these people cannot speak for us. They can they cannot they cannot tell us what to do at this stage of our life. You know, there's some there's an adage that says that the, the children are the futures of tomorrow. Yes. But we have realized that our 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 elders decide to be the futures of tomorrow. When they say this days, it's the the, the adage, adage that says that when a, 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 a young man uh, what a, what a, what a young man sees clamping an Iroko tree that an elder sees sitting on whatever. No, it doesn't work these days anymore. This is a jet age. Yes. This is a jet age. We will tell them what to do. They don't have the right to tell us what to do. I agree. I agree. We, we are the leader. Yes. We are. We we have what want to take the leadership away from them. And and I'm using this opportunity to tell um Tinubu in Lagos. We are bringing the rally down to Lagos. Tinubu and his so-called slaves called Olua uh, and Soloma of Oshojo, whatever. He's saying that Yoruba nation should not come to uh, Lagos. We are telling that we, the Yoruba youth, are coming to Lagos. And nothing will happen. Any state that they shoot anybody and we have any casualty, that state is going down. Wonderful. That is it. Hey, it's hallelujah. Going down. Hallelujah. That state is going down. That is Spirit of a Yoruba and all those Fulani that came to Ekitukupa, we have given them 14 days. If they don't go back, there will be fire in Ekiti, Ekiti states. And all those stupid leaders, the governors that are that, 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 that are so corrupt because of their corruption, they cannot speak. All the others, these people are crazy. We, we, the youth, we have risen at any, we don't care. They should not support us. If you don't want to support us, don't talk. But when you talk, and you, when you talk and you're not supporting us, then you're going down. We are done. We are done with all this shit they are doing. They mm. are all going down. Mom goes, yeah, yeah. We are going to start cleaning from the top. We don't give a fuck about all these stupid leaders that corruption has eaten into their deep brain and they cannot reason anymore. Well, our people cannot be killed in the farm. And you people say they took people to the, to the police station and. And what they did is they lock up the people that took Wakili to police station. What kind of country is that? Double standard. We don't do, we don't, we, we don't want it anymore. We, we, we don't, your nation is coming, and we, your nation has come to stay. Wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very grateful to you, my dear sister. I am amazed. I, I can't say I'm amazed because um, what is happening now is what we knew would happen. Uh, and for, for hotel builder, that is something that IPAB has been able to do to wake everybody up. People are now listening. Even our side is listening also in the zoo. I have them communicating with me. How is that people are communicating with me? Telling me how they are grateful that we have opened their eyes. Our, our brother that called from Akwai Bomb, you can hear what he was saying. He listened to Radio Biafra and went and asked his father a question. The father has not answered him since 2019 till now. The father has not answered, have not answered that very question. Yet to answer it. We are, as I said, some of you don't know this. I said there are three people that make up the Biafra nation, the original aborigines of the land, the ancient people. Ndibo. The first wave of the migration, and I told you that they passed through Yoruba land. That's what I said. They passed through Yoruba land. I am going to shock you. There are people in Yoruba land that answer the same surname with the same meaning as some of us in Igbo land. You don't know this, but one day I will reveal it. And now they have realized that their problem is of Basanjo and Tinubu and all the rest of them, these corrupt people. Allow my eight years to finish you. Talking about this every blessed day. We are the people. We determine what happens. If in the future Biafra votes to be in the same nation with Odudua, that is your business, that is your prerogative. I am not the, the people who speak. But I'm saying that um, <laughs> what unites us is very, very deep. Every time you hear, if you ask them, what is your classified Yoruba language, say it belongs to the Niger Congo family. Efik, Niger Congo family. Igbo, Niger Congo family. It tells you something. Just do your research. The caller on the line, can you hear me, please? I want to know if you can hear me. Good morning to you. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm calling from the zoo. Hey, he wasn't showing the line wasn't coming up. You cannot place calls. This is terrible. 
absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible, please. Do bear with me, absolutely terrible. I have a caller on the line, can you hear me? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah, go ahead, please. My, na my name is Chijo Kipasi from Avancia in BF London. Mm -hmm. yes, Hello? Chijo Kipasi from Avancia in BF London. Chijo Kipasi from Avancia in BF Chijo Kebasi from Ohio in the Yes, please go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead, please. And where are you calling from? Ohio in the Yafraland. Chijo Kebasi. Please go ahead. Okay. What I want to say is that the yes, uh, uh, Fulani are trying to use the strategy which uh, Frederick Lucifer used, which is this oh, yes, one yes, chiefs. Yes. Warrant cheese, you know, when um, we got to not conquer the Igbos. Give me your name, please. I'm sorry to bring you back. Give me your name again, please. Your name again. Chiju Kebasi. Basi. Yes, sir. Do you know the answer, Basi, in Aquarium Bomb and in Cross River? Of course, I is know. That your, is your name Basi for real or you're joking? No, my son name is Basi, my grandfather's name. Hmm. Uh, and where are you from? Uh, you know, it's an Arochu and Hafia, that is something. Your surname is Basi. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hmm. Please go ahead. It's for the Fulefu so here. Huh? Basically, we, we, we want Ibo Nation only. Ibo Nation only. <laughs> Come and see your brother answering Basi. Maybe you would report him to Akwa Ibom or to Cross River. And it's from Hafia. Please go ahead. You know, you know this uh, Afia is doing that. Uh, the reason why they called uh, Afia is because when these were people, they were coming from the journey. So they settled in a forest. So when people were passing, when they see them, they say that these people, as in Oha means a group of people. Then Afia means forest. That is Oha Afia. That is a group of people living in a forest. That is where they got the name. Oh, and uh, and uh, let me tell you your history also. Oh, Afia people came from Ahaba. Asaba, present day Asaba, the so called Delta State. Or half year migrated yes. from Ahaba, uh, which is the capital of Delta State. Asaba, that's where they came from. Yes. They came and they yes. passed through Ibeku. That is why Ibeku cannot fight on half year people. On half year cannot levy war on Ibeku forever and ever. It was a blood covenant, a blood oath taken at a place called the Danyawo, the present day Omoanya North local government area headquarters. Ibeko people gave on half a people land there to stay before they moved to where they are today, into the bushes and the forest, adjoining Arochuku, so that the people must understand this. They said, so a half a people can even claim that they're not people they are from Niger Delta, if they want to. Because that's why I'm right. Ha! Zu alam God forbid. Please go ahead. Okay, so what, I, what I'm saying is that the, the introduction of Warren Chiefs during Lugard was to conquer the Igbos because the Igbos were not receiving order from any king because we had no kings. That is true. And if you look at and if you look at the full and nouns, this is the same strategy they are using by bringing Warren slaves in the name of Eastern governors so that we can take orders from them. Warrant because governors remain. Government. I've heard a new one today. Yes. Warrant governors. Yes. Before it was warrant chiefs. Yes. With the last of the pampas we are in selecting Fulani of Imo State is now warrant governors that we have. Yes. Now, they say that once they impose somebody on us, somebody who can give orders, if they can control that person, they can control us. So I'm suggesting that our strategy should be on how to take away this blockage in the name of warrant governors or warrant slaves. Now, there is this question I want to ask. You know, we are in a democratic regime. We are um, uh, fundamental human rights are recognized even by the United Nations. Now, I want to ask, is there no provisions made in the, in the international court where we can sue the 1914 amalgamation because this amalgamation was not from the consent of the people. The people were not consulted. And that, that is a, a, a violation of human rights, a violation of uh, a right to association to belong where you want to or where you don't want to. Is there no provision made in the international court to sue this 1914 amalgamation? There is provision, but you cannot sue them 
because there is a statute of limitation on it, that's number one. And number two, the court you are going to also have colonies in Africa as well. So it's not going to all go well. That we are doing things, it's not everything that we're doing that we're going to reveal, but we are making immense progress. Immense progress. We are making immense progress, I can assure you. And thank you very much for your enlightening call. I'm so uh, happy. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm in love uh, with uh, your surname. That somebody uh, from Ohafia uh, is Basi. I'm so happy. And I'm delighted. Hey, see, listen, it's not only my family. There are many of them that is in my office that is answering this person as a son. It's not only my family. So what we are going to do is, we're, we're, one, there's one experiment we're going to do. We're going to send you to an EBBO meeting or an EFIC meeting. And you go there where they'll be talking rubbish about Hebo, Hebo this, Hebo that. <laughs> and then you will stand up and introduce yourself as Mr. Bassi. After speaking, you say you're Igbo. I want to see their faces. I want to, I will pay anything to see their faces after that. Thank you. Thank you very much. TJ, okay, thank you very, very much. I think you notice about the um, Nigerian military in Ariara Junction, where they situated their camp. They use this cement bank to build a fortress. If you don't raise up your hand, you can't pass from there. They've been embarrassing people a lot in Ariara. No, don't worry about that. They, they know their end is coming. It's only a matter of time. They know that. They know it's inevitable. Okay. Yeah, the angels will find them and send them to Elohim for proper judgment. Thank you very much for your call, my dear brother. Hey, this morning, our sister, all of you that contributed this morning to making this program what it is, I, I commend. The calls are plentiful, very, very plentiful, I tell you. Many, many people are still calling us, but I'm sure I'll be back again live uh, in the evening in two days' time, and then the other two days I'll be live. I will also try and make sure that... Um, I will also make sure that we are live every two days, as I promised you, because the zoo is collapsing. And we are going, we have collapsed it completely and totally. I thank all of you this very morning for joining us. It's been interruption after interruption. People trying to meet with me, but I shall see them very, very shortly. I thank all of you for listening. Once again, from me, from here, in two days' time, we're going to the convention 7 p.m. in the evening. It is good morning. I don't don't All right, that was a good lecture by our leader, Mazin Namdekano. Yes, and what I take out of it is this information that I need to pass on to you, which our leader mentioned, and I want you to bear it in mind, that uh, those who don't have a Twitter account very soon will buy you from calling my station, Radio Biafra. When you, when you call, you have to tell us that you have a Twitter account. You have to have it. Our leader have said it's an order. We all have it. Even if you don't know how to tweet, have an account. You can follow somebody. I personally, to be honest with you, I don't know how to tweet, but I'm going to learn it. I've, I keep promising I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn, but I never learn it. But you know something? I make sure, because I have a lot of people following me on Twitter, to be honest. I I tweet. I retweet, not that I tweet. I retweet whatever, anything I read out there, especially what our leader writes and and I think it's something that is what it do. I just push it up. Amaka Igbo used to write also. I follow her. 
So you have to have a Twitter account. That's what our leader has said. Because very soon, in fact, I think the grace period is over. He just said it. That uh, if you don't have a Twitter account, you don't need to be calling Radio Biafra because you have to have an account to be able to push off what others are saying, even if you don't know how to tweet. All right? And then, uh, they, they fool, they fool. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't want to call these people's names because we are giving them publicity. When you come to the TV, when you look at them, I don't even know what journalists are doing. I wish I can interview one of these people. Because when you ask them something, they never give you a solution. All they are busy telling you about is what the other man is doing. What are you doing yourself? Because you have no plans. You have nothing. You want to give yourself a name. Our leader, thank you very much for even not even giving attention to these people. I Let them sit together and have their meeting. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with IPOB. The greatest, the greatest, the largest movement in the world today. We have nothing to do with you guys. If you want to have a meeting, go and have a meeting with yourself. If you let me know, no, just come down and beg. See, listen, can I go and register in IPOB and become a member? <laughs> then you got put a line like everybody else. You don't come and jump over anybody. Don't bother. And so if you want to if you want to go, eh, you go to the back, 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 back. They're back, they, they very, 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 very far away. So let's, we have no more time left. We, but uh, whatever time is left, we can still have our conversations. If you had anything you want to say in reference to what our leader, the broadcast that just passed through, they, they, you know, communicate with us. I love the Yoruba lady who, when she spoke, she spoke very, very well. And uh, I'm happy that they have all woken up like every one of us. We are all awake and nobody is going to put us back to sleep. So, what we need to do right now is give me a call at 646-920-4541-854-344-7894. Oh, 79, I'm sorry. No, I don't know. This, this thing is not bright enough over here. The light is not bright enough. Anyway, call me. You have my numbers, 929-406-9953. That's a line for the uh, principal officers and the, and the ladies. Call us. The line is open for you to make your call when you're ready. Like that. But please, when you call, just be, be very, very nice to other people because, you know, we don't have enough time left. And uh, <laughs> just take two minutes and make it so All right, I have a call coming in on straight line. Call her good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you, my brother. I'm happy to be the first caller again. You are. I don't I know how... Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, my brother. You see, I love this. Uh, although I didn't listen to that program, uh, you know, as I just listened to it now, I picked up uh, the particular one that interests me is somebody that called our leader and was trying to... Maybe he thought it was an advice that uh, uh, will IPO be not to work with the other group? You know, where our leader answered him, letting him to know that it is the other group, as he referred them, they are supposed to come to IPOB. Because, according to our leader again, they have been existing before IPOB, but they have not achieved anything. Nothing. For any person to choose, yes, they have not, never achieved anything. For, uh, what do they call it? The Polani Hesman not to be in Ebony State today, which the governor confirmed. Is the work of IPOB. This other group has never achieved anything. So our leader made it plain to him. If they want the other people, they should come to IPOB and beg for, for so that we can even accept them. Yes. Because we have achieved a lot. For any person to talk now, even those the other group, for them to talk now, they will either mention IPOB or Nandekano be because relevant. somebody will listen to them. Yes. Very, very, yes. They have either they mentioned Andrea Kano or IPOB. Okay, look at that Yoruba lady that called. You see how bold she was because of the work of IPOB and Radio Biafra. Yes. Without the work of IPOB, no person on earth today will call and start demanding for, you know, 
he want to break Nigeria, he want to do it. No, that is the work of IPOB. I was so happy with that call of that Yoruba woman. That shows what IPOB have done, which the other group never do, except building hotels, according to our leader. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know whether, whether they will go, go to anywhere with their hotels. So I'm very, very grateful to Thank our you. leader. That man is good. Thank Somebody so say Nande Kado is God sent. We all know it is God that sent him to us. Yes. So I'm very happy, sir. Indeed. Very, very happy for Thank you, you to repeat. Thank you. The Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Sir. Thank you very much. All right. You know, strange enough, this is you know this this is when I really sat down to listen to that broadcast very, very well. That's why it's good to repeat this program sometimes and uh, you know, get back to it and see what 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 all we make out of it. Point is that now like it, it this brings down the story that I, I told one time in my community. Uh, when he asked for certain people, I said, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, because they have done something. And then this, uh, at the point, I warned them, I said, No, 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 I'm up, I'm up. If their number is greater than one, I'm up, then he says, You, I'm up, I'm up, because that's exactly what happened. Now, the kind of came out of nowhere, they were all jumping like like frogs. He, let, he went and they created his own IPOB and started from the word go. Today, IPOB is power, and you want him to come and sit down and discuss with what with you. You know, <laughs> let me tell you, story. somebody saw my picture with Mars in the camera, and they say, Oh, now, nah. <laughs> now. <laughs> for them, they think that because now when they ask a picture that we, we eat and dine every day together. No, our, our leader is an icon. That is Nukumangu Potel Gedawara, so that is Nukumangu. Ah, you know, I pitch and I go. I was the cable and cut through all. You know, they fall on and I ruin those days. They go take pictures, they come out, come out as in I front of my bank and they say photo. Oh, you know, and if we find a man, it's not true, it's all fake. So that's what these people are trying to do. When they come in, they, they, they lure us into a meeting and then they will take the picture to the zoo and say, don't you see, I eat next to Nam the Kano. We just, we just finished the discussion last night. A Choraga Wan Choncho. All those days. What we are saying now is that for you to even go and see him, to talk of seeing him, you step on top, on, on, top, on top of most of us to pass through to get to him because he is an icon. He is an icon. He is a to none. That's what I mean. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. So, IPOB is here to stay. Everybody is crying left, right, and center. And uh, you know something? There is nothing you can do to stop the movement. The train is moving so fast. It's so fast. I don't I don't even think that by this time, probably in a couple of days now, we'll not be talking about uh, this thing called the zoo because a lot of people are seeing it. I listened to somebody yesterday. Uh, he calls him, say, he says his name is uh, Bright. I think somebody, Bright, let's listen to him again. Because uh, I like what he said, to be honest so with you. There is a warning uh, against those who are, uh, according to them, planning to disintegrate their country. You said the problem in Nigeria is that people who should know don't want to know and they do not know. The, the security section is talking and talking and talking. What are they doing? The situation in this country today is so bad that I, Robert Clark, Robert Clark yeah. I cannot guarantee Nigeria staying another six months. The problems are so overwhelming, and they have been created by these same politicians. Since 1999, Constitution came into being, and this crop of politicians, young boys then, who were swimming in Abacha's loot and trying to form as many political parties for him, got into money and came into politics. Nigeria has never been the same. Nigeria is worse than it was in 1982. 1982, went afar by Shagari was the military, was the president of the country. It's a better Nigeria than today, 2021. What is the cause? The cause is the leadership we have. Nobody is going, look at what is happening in the eastern region now. It is no more even banditry. It's becoming a civil war. Many things are happening. And if care is not taken, 
and I swear by my father's grave, Nigeria will collapse in six months' time. That's right. That's uh, that's all I'm looking up to. Six months is too much now. Yeah, already it has collapsed anyway. I don't know what you mean in six months' time. The Nigeria is not standing anymore. It's just standing on the They don't even know what might happen tomorrow. That's why everyone and one of my brothers who called yesterday I still have have whatever he said in mind. That one day we'll wake up and go to Asu Rock and there'll be nobody there. It's coming very close. I yeah, it's, it's, I swap or whatever they call them. They're around there. One hour. One hour. The key, if uh, you know, somewhere, we roll up and roll up. All of them will disappear. All of them will run away. We're still waiting for that. It is coming. Anybody can sit down there and deceive themselves and think that they still have a country called Nigeria. I'm so sorry. So sad. Because unfortunately, there's no such thing. It's just everything is buza 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 right now as we speak. This is Radio Biafra. Please call us 646-920-4541 if you're still interested in calling. Plus 1929-406-9953. I have a call coming in on a WhatsApp line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller on WhatsApp. Are you there? The line is open. You're not talking. All right. Uh, let's, let's, when you're ready to talk, you call us back uh, if you can. So, like we're discussing this morning, talking about the broadcast that's been made, you have to be, you have been warned about about tweeting. Go make sure you have a Twitter account to be able to send your messages, even if you can't tweet. At least you will be able to retweet what somebody has tweeted. All right, the caller on WhatsApp is back again, but uh, let's see. Okay, let me take it before I continue. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning, I'm Peters. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. My name is Chukwimana. I'm a native of Ishiagwebo State, Biafra land. I greet my leader, our leader, Mazenam De Kano, for a time like this. I want to start from the tape you played this morning about those people, DSS or whatever they call themselves, who are saying that uh, our leader is introducing Jewish worship that will make other religion that like uh, Catholic and uh, some other churches, not to continue like before. When I think black people, our leader has been hammering this point, and it's very important. Black people, the way they reason, doesn't show mostly Nigeria. Anybody who is Nigeria, the way they reason, make them, even the animal inside the bush is even better than anybody that calls himself Nigeria. Because they don't reason as a human being. What concerns church and what our leader is talking about? Our leader is teaching the truth and the honest. This is the only thing that makes church to be any church without truth, any church without honest is not of God. Thank you. Let's go. That is the truth. Truth. The Bible said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Yeah, well. That is what our leader is preaching. Thank you, sir. It is left for you to choose the truth or to choose lying like Lai Mohammed and Nigeria as a whole. The problem of Nigeria is church, is Muslim. 
the way church was introduced by Jesus is not what is going on in Nigeria. What Nigeria is preaching is money. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's they good. have they have jumped out from the the original teaching of Jesus, and they are preaching money, raising millionaires, making people to be corrupt, which affected many of them who call them men of God in Nigeria. All many of them are corrupt, even more than the politicians. Thank you, sir. And that is why. How do you know those people that is corrupt in the Christian? They are always saying and praying for Nigeria to continue. That is how you know them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let, let's they go can build as many as we don't have, these people. We don't have any more time. Let's just cut it off. Cut it off. Uh, the message Thank is Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra. We have to make room for Radio Biafra USA. One that is coming in. There's no more time. I told you guys that when you come in too many, just send your message and run, you know, run from there. We don't have time at all. I have less than 10 minutes to go on this program and I don't think I wish to continue taking calls. So all these lines have been shut down. So don't call me because I will not be able to take a call. Unfortunately, or fortunately for us, our leader <clears throat> allowed the whole entire program for us to listen very attentively to what he has said. He has made it very clear. The point I have raised is that when they bring religious issue, what they are trying to do with our leader actually is to castigate him, to give him a bad name, to make us hate him. But you know something? <laughs> One young lady said to me, you know, this was many, many years ago when our leader first started. He said, the way the man talk about us, she's including herself, the young lady, he said, but one thing is that the more he talks about us this way, the more we love him. I said, you see? So because when they say it immediately, you, you, feel, you, feel, you feel the pain. But when you sit down and absorb what the person has said, if you are able to absorb it and live with it, then you have liberated, honestly. So what they are doing, they are trying everything. First of all, oh, now touch it to us in the age church. Who said that? Oh, somebody said this is, Ekwensu. this is a man who doesn't ever do any broadcaster prayers. Not not once. Not, none of his broadcasts. Listen to him. He will always pray. pray there. I'm talking about real prayer. Strong prayer that is very, very strong. There are many of us, people like me, I don't know how to pray, to be honest with you. I don't. I, I, what I call prayer is when it's original. I can copy what other people have said and, and repeat it the way they have said it. That is not a prayer. Prayer comes from your heart. It's within you. I'm not able to do it. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. In fact, some people, <laughs> somebody took me, I went to it's an organization and something that were, and they said, the, this chairman just said I was the person that was going to say the prayer. Oh my goodness. I was like, I nearly melted. But eventually I, I did pray. And they said, but you, you pretend as if you don't know how to pray. I said, no, I don't. Because the, what I'm saying is really from my heart. That's the point. You can be parrot, blah, 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 in the name of Jesus. We think you have prayed. No, you have not. What you are saying didn't come out of your heart. <laughs> so that brought me to, went to a university and uh, uh, one of my performing days as a musician, we performing at the University of Nigeria and Soccer. And uh, the DJ just came in and called a professor that was supposed to pray, calling him to come and pray so that the occasion can start. And the man was busy eating chicken. He had chicken on his table. He was eating the chicken. And when they called him again, he did, as if he didn't hear them, he was eating his chicken. Then the DJ went to him to, to remind him that he's the one that they're calling to come and pray. And the man was still sitting there. You know, the, my band was set up at the back. Now the DJ now came to the, <laughs> came to the, to, came to the microphone to announce that the professor is a pagan. <laughs> He doesn't need to get up and pray because he's a pagan. So there are some of us who talk about pagan. It doesn't matter. But our leader said something today. If you want, you all know Juju Kito in our worship. Go ahead. Biafra is not into that. If you believe in God, God is God. For me, all powers belong to him and there is nothing anybody can do to change it. I know that. Everybody is doing it the way, the way, the way he knows how. And nobody's way is the best way. The best way to do it is the way you know, you understand it. As long as you love your neighbor as yourself, that's all. Do unto others what you what others do unto you. That is religion. 
So from that, um, I'm going to have to call it a day because uh, unfortunately somebody says somebody's calling, but I'm not going to pick up any more calls after. I already said it. I've locked down the, the phone lines and uh, we can't take any more calls. Whatever call you have, please go to wait for Mr. Alozie. He's coming in and then call him and he will talk to you. Biafran's got talent this is exclusive. Radio Biafra USA. Because all, because all, because all, he comes Freedom fight a man, he goes, he goes, so he's our hero, he goes, so in the rest of the paradise. You fought like a soldier, and you died like a soldier, you never betrayed our motherland. 